My apologies that we can't address all the questions. It turned out to be so many, mashallah, and all of them are great. I'm going to select one more, inshallah. Um, how do you reconcile the stats that young Muslims find comfort in faith versus the stats that show the Muslim youth are less engaged with mosque and being a mosque? Would you have to ask it again? No, it's okay. I probably spoke very quickly. How to um, how do we reconcile the stats that young Muslims find comfort in faith versus the stats that show the Muslim youth are less engaged with mosques and being in mosques? I think that's a great question. And I think when we are still equating faith with the masjid, that's where we are running into some difficulty, right? Because we have masjid goers who may be struggling with their faith. And we have non-masjid goers, people who are part of the unmasked movement and may feel strength in their faith. So we need to separate the two and not say, if you don't go to the masjid, then that means that you have no faith. It may be that the masjid is not meeting the needs of those young people who are seeking out connections to their faith. And we see that there has been a rise of those third spaces in so many different areas. And it may not be ideal because we want that ability to really connect our youth when we tell them that their ibadah can be in every step of life, that it's not, salah is separate, you know, you, 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 know, you use these legs to walk to the mission and pray, but they're the same legs that you use to walk and you know, go to the, the, the club or the liquor store or to do something haram with. Know that whether you are, are praying in the mission or outside of the mission, your faith doesn't change. So I think we need to redefine that that concept of unmasked does not mean lack of faith. Unmasked may mean that the masjid is just not meeting the needs of the person who is stepping away from the masjid. And again, that is where it is incumbent upon us as the community leaders, as the parents, as the adults, to take those steps to better understand those needs and to say, how can we meet them? And it's hard because change is difficult. And it may be difficult to reimagine spaces that we grew up with that we thought were comfortable. But I, I will tell you, I know this is a little bit of a side note, but I will tell you, I remember growing up and there was a specific mission, and those of you who are from New Jersey, you've probably crossed paths with this mission. But there was one mission that everybody went to. It was the only mission that kind of was standing. It had a beautiful front, it had marble stairs going up, great heavy doors. But the woman's entrance was down this cobbled path with broken stones. The woman's entrance was not up the marble stairs. The woman's entrance was around the corner, down that cobbled path with the broken stones, through the bathroom, and into the stark little space. I grew up in that mission. I grew up in that masjid and every Sunday when my parents would take me to that masjid, I would be devastated because it didn't coincide with what I knew of my deen. It didn't coincide with my understanding of Aisha anha and Khadija anha and the companions of the Prophet wasallam. And yet that's the masjid I grew up in. And if it hadn't been for incredible community leaders who showed me that this was not Islam, that this was a cultural decision, this was a decision that is not rooted in my deen, I myself may have been unmasked. And so we need to rethink our spaces. We need to think about the messages that we are sending with our masajid. And we need to stop pointing fingers and say, our children don't come to the masajid, and instead ask ourselves why. And then rethink what it should look like to speak the language of our youth. Dr. Susie, I want to thank everyone for your time and I want to apologize for my technical difficulties. The session uh, we will wrap up very shortly, but we don't have to rush out of the room. There's nothing right after, so we are free to connect with you um, up front if you have any direct questions or you need someone at one time. I want to thank everyone for your time. Jazakumullah Really think about the best way we could build our spaces, create an open um, opportunity for our youth to relate to us and connect. Hanakallahu bihamdak ashadu anna illa illa anfus nafsu wa jibu alayhi. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.